I'm gonna drop this camera 3,000 feet down this huge shaft in Virginia City. And I've got over 6,000 feet of twine. So we're gonna see what's at the bottom. Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah. <laughs> There it goes. Bye. I didn't hit record, right? <laughs> Ooh, where's it going? Where's it going? Anybody know the name of that mine in the background, huh? There used to be a very famous trestle right here. Let's see how many people know what that one is. Leave me a comment down below. Double drum hoist. Somebody took the motor that sat here. Look at that thing, nice. Now this isn't the original hoist that they used for the mine. What this one was used for is when they were done with the whole operation. They said, we're gonna pull the timber up because the timber was worth a lot of money. So they brought in this smaller double drum hoist. Now I know it looks big, but trust me, the hoist that they had in here was 10 times bigger than this. So they used this to help pull up all the timber that was in the shaft and all the other equipment that was down there. And that's why that shaft has got no timber in it whatsoever. Just look at the size of these bolts to hold down. This is where the original hoisting equipment sat. And then they put this makeshift shaft here. Now that's the smaller sheave wheel I was telling you about that they used to hoist up all the uh, equipment that was down there. The, the original sheave wheels were much larger than that. And you can see where one was bolted here and then they had two here and they had another one over there. Everything was a grand size and scale on this particular operation. It had to be. Look at the size of these nuts. Remember, keep your nuts on the outside. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Mm. There's a shaft there, 3,000 feet straight down. How do you like them beans, huh? All right, now this big trench that you see here, this is where the Cornish pump used to sit. It had a huge arm sticking out, and you can see where the, the pivot was bolted there on both sides of the walls. And that's how they would get the water out of this thing from 3,000 feet. We're gonna fire this thing up, and we're gonna head into town because I gotta have me some iced tea. Ooh, but I'm not gonna do anything until you smash that light bulb, son. Smash it hard. I'm gonna get to drive this thing, right? No. No, come on. It's my own personal train. I'm taking it to Walmart. I gotta go get a bottle of water. All right, up we go. Come on up in here. Come get some. Ooh, it's hot up here. Can you turn the AC on? Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, now who do I got with me? Your name is? <laughs> you just seemed a whole bunch of people. Go ahead. My name's Dan. Dan? Ryan. That's right. You sure you're not, uh, what's that other guy's name? Meatball. Meatball. I thought his name was Meatball. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, how long y'all been doing this? You've been doing this 45? 45 years off and on. More on than off. 
I think he's gonna die in here. And you? Off and on for 22 years. So these guys know what they're doing. So well, next time you're in Virginia City, I want you to see these guys. You take care of them, and oh, they'll give you a ride like you won't believe. And smash that subscribe button. And yeah, and smash that like button too. So you all gonna say, huh? So come on, let's go. You don't know, let's go. <laughs> You got any stories to tell us? No stories or lies? Well, aren't they all pretty much the same thing anymore? <laughs> years and years ago, this my engineer was my fireman. Right? We got up to go Hill, I mean, uh, Virginia City got off the, fell off the engine to get away from the heat. And I turn around, I see, I see my engineer on the first step of the, he said, use the gas. Right. I go a little bit farther down the road, I'm going, where's the gas? I turn around, there he is, back on the ground. What happened? <laughs> You forgot where he was and let go of the grab arms? Oh no! Yep. With a dog.
ever find these old mortar boxes like this, what you want to do is you want to get it down inside. Be careful so the stamps don't come down and crush you. You'll have a series of dies down here and these are the shoes right here. These are called shoes. What you want to do is you want to try to clean that out because if they abandon it, there could be free mill gold down in the bottom. Not saying there will be, but this is a good place to check. It's in these old mortar boxes. Also, if you find old ball mills, get inside, look in between the armor plating, you could find some free mill gold in there. You know, if someone got his finger crushed, one of the guys used to work for me, and the rest of the house was just they mince me down. What I was just told is a gentleman got his hand too close to this thing. The darn stamp dropped, took his finger, turned it into a pancake. They had to amputate it. Ooh, it's nasty. So be careful. Like I said, you're cleaning these things out. This thing weighs a thousand pounds at least. You don't want to get it between the shoe and the die, okay? That's what I want right there. Look at that monster. Yeah, ooh, there's some gold ore in there too. Mm. <laughs> Don't put your hand in there. Uh, that way you just... Yeah, it won't catch your leg. That's like me eating my Wheaties in the morning. Push it down to quarter minus. Hey, I could make it to eight point. I could make it dust. Right? I could, I could adjust the screw and make it smaller. So I have to have that. And then I just put it together. Yeah, made it up, they fit well. Well, because this originally didn't have a motor on it. Right. It's going to hang right. Oh, okay, yeah. There's a crusher. Yeah, the crusher part of this. Roger. 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 Roger.
So I got my ore bin here. They fill that up. I think they got conveyors filling this one up. So, and this is my chute. And my chute gate goes right here. See that? And then this feeds down to the bottom of this into the back of the mortar box. They have a feeder. In case you didn't know, this is how you start and stop these stamp mills. So this is a big old bull wheel is running. Cam is spinning. And what you do is you have to time it just right. And you gotta pull these, these blocks out. And that way it'll let this huge stamp drop down onto that cam and the timing will be perfect. If you don't do it right, man, it's gonna hit that cam. You might break something. And that's how you get them to stop too, as they're going up and down, chonka, chonka, chonka. As it goes up and starts to come down, you get that monker in there just right. And the reason why you'd wanna do that is because when you go to clean it out, you gotta have all the stamps up so you can get into that mortar box. But this is amazing because it's fully intact and it runs. Look at this gantry train right here. You see that? That way when they go to change out the stamps, they use this gantry crane to lift it because those are a thousand pounds a piece. Ain't no way, no man is gonna lift that. So look at this. Here's the conveyor belt system that comes from the jaw crusher. It goes through the jaw, which is your primary crusher, comes up this conveyor belt, goes into this feeder. Now, the neat thing about this feeder is it can go back and forth and feed these huge ore bins that we're standing on top of. Look at that. That's perfect. Yep. Yeah, right in this zone right here. Yep. That's a no-brainer. And that's a lot of water flow to move all these cobbles down. And it's packed. It is hard packed in there. Yeah, and yours, it goes all the way down. Yep. 